Now, before we do anything, we want money. Not money, we want food. Food, money, same thing, really. They both solve the same issue, which makes us live. Come in, come in. Hello, I would like some food. Well, right 12 food for 12 gold. What a bargain. Now I need to find where, oh, where one of those, well, stables are. The stable's on the other side of town, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So it wouldn't take long to get there, hopefully. Now, the Tullian Forest, obviously, is a giant forest filled with angry trees. And has the king done anything to fix the trees? No. He probably angered them even more. He's probably the one who stole the thing they want. We can go to Talia. We don't want to go to Talia or the Barricada Desert. We have no interest right there, right now. But we do have interest for many other things. But not there. Not right now. Probably never for a while. Think that? Ah, body resistance. Not too bad. If only we were a master at water magic. I think after all this bloody war stuff ends, we'll probably go to Nylon and get some good old, well, water magic. Mastery, of course. We can't have Grand Mastery yet, no, sadly. We're just not that proficient enough. We must first become masters before Grand Masters. Otherwise, it, the Grand Master will think it's a complete moron. It's like going to a child and trying to explain rocket science to it. They probably like to learn it. I mean, it could be that child of Metal Gear Solid. I think Sunny was her name. I know in Revengeance, she made a giant rocket that goes to the sky, and I think she's only in her teens, but nevertheless, that's not what I'm getting at. I mean, a casual child, not a super genius child. I mean, if you go to, let's just say, a special kid, I don't mean special in a road, so I mean just mean generally special, because he might be good with his hands. Let's just say that for now to be politically correct. Uh, he just might, you know, if you give it to him, he might not know what to do, other than know how to make a toy rocket. He probably might try to make his own gasoline. I don't know, not gasoline, it's, um... What's the rocket for you? Kerosene! He might, he might try to make his own kerosene, mind you. But, uh, it might not go too well. Might result in basically putting some petroleum over a stove. Most likely. Or putting it in the oven. One of the two. I mean, I wouldn't advise you to do either of them, mind you. I mean, if you're putting, well, petrol, gasoline, however you want to pronounce it, on top of a cooker, and the fire's going, yeah, I would never recommend that. That may turn badly for you. Yeah. Also, don't put gasoline in wood, then burn it. That would definitely end badly. Anyway, um, we're on our way to the Elven Forest to go to the ever-so-lovely Elven Lord himself. Well, not so lovely, he's kind of an arrogant get, really. I'd rather see his head on a pike. In a tree. By a pike. By a pike, I mean, literally on a pike, the metal one, and then it's right next to a pike. The fish. I mean, I would love to see a pike by a pike. Compare him. Why is a pike called a pike after all? I've never known. Never probably will know. I'm not a fish man. Never tried fishing. Be interesting to do, though. Maybe one day. <sighs> I'm glad we're able to give that arrogant king. I mean, he thinks he deserves all of this. And what makes him think that we will do as such? What makes him think that we will trust someone who will blackmail us? We don't care about gold. We don't care about titles. We care about honor. We care about self-righteousness, and obviously, Farfugan's feelings. He's a very delicate dwarf. I mean, after all, well, not, I wasn't Farfugan, it was his aunt, of course. His aunt was the one we care about. His aunt is obviously the fluffy bear that he is. You know, runs around, running around like a giant, actual brown bear. Well, mind you, he doesn't look a brown bear. He's, mind you, Farfugan does have the teeth of one, but he's not the brown bear that his aunt looks like. He's a giant, well, a giant furball. In a sense, a giant furby, in a sense. It's think of a giant brown furby, and that's basically Farfudigan. But if you want some type of bestial creature, you have, well, Farf well not Farfudigan, uh, Furby's design, sorry. I always get the dwarves mixed up. It's not because of a racist thing, they don't look the same. No, 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 not in the slightest. You know, I do have similar faces, but no, no, I'm not saying that, no. The elves do, mind you, the elves look the same. Just look at that guy. I mean, let's go observe him for a moment. There could be a woman just topless, mind you, we never know. He might be slightly flat chested. Anyway, you got this man right here, right? Take a good look at him. Now look at this man. They look the same to me. I just, I just talk of him. Yeah, don't cause any trouble. Yeah. What's under that loincloth? Nothing? Probably nothing. The yeah, so probably, in, you know, unisex. When we're not, they don't have any genitalia. Female or male. They're probably elves. They're probably birthed by seeds. That's why we must burn all trees. That is why, for, well, we got Humpy. It was a divination by the gods themselves. They have tarted upon us to burn all the elves. One by one. But we must gain their trust first. Oh, yes. And then we burn them alive. Perfect. Ha! Always knew that it would work. I mean, burning things alive is never a bad thing, right? <laughs> exactly. I mean, that's why the rich trials that were happening. If it burns, it's great, because it's made of wood. That's clearly the reason why. It's not because human flesh is flammable. No, no, no. 
Is that almost there? Oh, most the word is. It's all the way down this corridor. Do not touch any doors. I don't like you touching. Wow, you're massive. Wow, the women are towering over the men. Who would have guessed? So, hello. It's closed. Can't rest here. Why can't you rest here? That's annoying. I guess we need to go back on the lift and take a nap. That is, if we don't offend the other so mighty elves by merely napping here, us peasants. I see the way you look at me. Uh, I don't think it's even no. We have to wait several hours, don't we? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Let's wait until 12. There we go. And let's go to those double doors over there, where you're sitting on a stump. For gunning so uppity and all that, you'd think you'd be sitting a mortar stump. Ah. How many are again? Make it quickly, my patience is already wearing thin. You know, for the time being, I'm just gonna say, because I don't know what does what. Ah, uh, let's do. You two urban city? Uh, let's not call it useful. I used to have respect for you originally, but now I don't. We'll call it evil! Elven city. There we go, this game is saved. So let's try. So, the plans. The king smiles broadly as you hand him the plans, sucker. Thank you, these will be very useful when we finally win this round of raffia. I will not forget you. Prison break. Riley Kring moves against me, eh? The king frowns and forward and brightens. I have an idea! I know of someone who looks just like the spy she wants to rescue. Bring my man with you and deliver him to the king. You never met him. And won't know the difference. His inside information will encourage him to make mistakes. The king taps the summon the imposter. Be careful not to tip your hand. It wouldn't do for her to discover a little plan. Wouldn't it now? Wouldn't it? What is her plan? Where is he again? I forget. Oh, he's in a cave, isn't he? Yes. Yes. Now, we should have another man in inventory. Uh, you're him, Frank Lauren. Excellent decision to assist King Parson, just to get me to the Queen. I'll handle the rest. Will you now? Let's get- I wonder if we can get two of them. We did save, after all. Now, let's just do that. There we go. Put the capsule back on. Now we're sprinting once again. So where haven't we actually explored? In the nearby caves. What cave haven't we explored, eh? I have no idea. Does it say where around here? Let's see here. No, it doesn't say. Oh, obviously, because the quest has changed. Oh. Oh, we, we want it to all go in her favour. But what I want to do first of all is I want to check if I can just say, this guy's a fake. Don't trust him, but just give him misinformation to pull it more in your favour. I mean, I could probably play him against each other, mind you, and we beat over with Victor, but we don't want that. We want a Raffi to ruin his place. I mean, after all, the elves have done nothing towards us other than call us morons. I've heard them laughing by now back. Saying, dear God, I wonder how long they're going to die. Then she said that to us. Then she said it to our face. I mean, how rude, right? Exactly. How rude. Oh, well. Well, soon enough, this whole quest and debacle will be ended. Well, hopefully we can end it. Well, it's hopefully. Now, I want to take these horsemen, since I don't have a good way to get back, aside from starving to death in the fields of Harmondale. Or Raffia, depends on the one or two. This does involve us going backwards and forwards. I could probably do with going to Nylon, mind you. Probably could. History. Oh, tell us what we've done. Ah, right, just in case you don't know what the main quest is. Ah, that's kind of handy, I guess. I don't want to go to even more islands. I don't know why he keeps suggesting it. It's not Sunday, is it? It's Sunday. Why is it always Sunday? Does it take seven days to get backwards and forwards? Most likely. Most likely. Uh, so after we sort out this quest, we'll go and do this. I mean, I just want to see if we can tell it's a fake. If as long as we can say that to her, it'd be great. It'd be fantastic. We never have to worry about anything ever again. Mind you, we do have to keep walking in backwards and forwards, and everyone's so tired of her so far. Uh. But sadly, this is the main quest. It's not as exciting as the side quests, mind you. They become, well, a grand druid. A priest. A hunter. Or a cavalier, mind you. But mind you, it's the main quest. It's all politics, and where's the messengers? Between two powerful nations who are greater than us. Mind you. If we manage to get humpy, Armageddon, 
They'll be far more powerful than they could ever imagine. If they strike us down, they'll never comprehend our power afterwards. Especially if we can turn Zanta into a lich, but I think that's more of a wizard thing. There's always been a wizard thing, I believe. Liches. I've never known a priest to become a lich. Unless in, actually in special cases I have, but after that, no. No. Alright. Okay, so we're almost to a raffia, the word is almost. We're just going to go through this little village. Who are you? Guide, cook, horseman, peasant. And we have more peasants. One thing I find interesting, there is no horses in this game. I mean, there is literally no horses. There, you can see horses in the background, but you never see the animal here other than the ones you can kill. Be interesting like, to kill it and do the whole, like, Left Red, no, not Left Red Dead, uh, Red Dead Redemption thing, or Red Dead series, I don't know if it's Red Dead Redemption thing altogether, or Assassin's Creed 3, Far Cry 3 or 4, where you can just slaughter the animal and take its hide and craft a new hat with it. <laughs> I mean, crafting hats are wonderful, mind you. I would always do it myself. I mean, if I had a chance to do it, mind you. I probably wouldn't make a hat, I probably wouldn't even do it. I'm a bit of a coward when it comes down to it. Very squeamish. In real life, mind you, but not in video games. No, no. So, we're very close to the castle. Very close to it indeed. Not too far from it. Luckily, it's a lot easier to get to her, the, her Majesty rather than, you know... Elfman. I can't remember his name. I think it's Parsnip. Is it Parsnip? King Parsnip? I'm gonna call him King Parsnip. It's an elven thing. It's a vegetable. Elves are all vegetables. Like turnips. Ooh, turnips. But well, alright, we're not here to talk about nice, lovely vegetables so we can cook up and make a good soup with. We're here to talk about murder! War! Politics! After all, that's why we're here. Hopefully, Her Majesty will understand the ever so wonderful thing we're about to tell her. Ah, yes. <laughs> Here's a fake prisoner. Oh! Oh. Turns out she didn't appreciate that in the slightest. I I'm just gonna go back to here. And I'm just gonna be like... Fake plan! Oh no, I'm not meant to do that, no. Oops. Never mind. Ne never mind. Ignore that for the time being. I'm doing the wrong things. So if you admit faults, they instantly kill you. Interesting. Here we go. I won't tell about the prison break because just no. No. So we cannot do anything against them. Interesting. So Tyrion Caves. Where on earth are the Tyrion Caves? I have no idea. But that's rather interesting. They instantly murder you right there and there. Very interesting. Never actually thought that would be the fact, actually. That I actually instantly kill you right there and there. Just for saying, hey, here's a fake guy. Don't even give us time to speak. I guess how, that's how they were back in the day. Both these people are kind of gets when it comes down to it. I don't know why I'm supporting them, to be honest. Oh, so now we just have to go find the guy, find the real guy, and kill a bunch of elves. Oh, I've been wanting to do this for a while. Where on earth is this bloody cave? Where? It's somewhere around it. What did it say what direction the cave is in? Let's see. No. It's just this outside pier point. But where? Where is it? It's down here? I wish we had fly. There's bloody mountains. We're going to the south for the time being, because I don't know where it would be. I remember that being an obelisk. I think that was an obelisk. Let me just double check what it actually is. Involves us hiking up a mountain, so it most likely is an obelisk. Obelisks are well hidden. Or point blank, but it's hard to get to unless you have a particular ability like fly. Alright, we're almost up there. I wonder if fly is a grandmaster spell. Not a starburst, probably. I don't know. Oh, I could do with a starburst, actually. Wonderful. Very juicy. Oh, very, very juicy. Is this the obelisk? No, it's a shrine. Oh! Hello! Oh, hello! The right time as well! Oh wow, I never actually knew that. I'm getting really lucky. Really. So November is the time for here. So it's November, come here, and you'll get your blessing. Wow, I'm actually being very lucky with those. Every time of time I come across one of those lovely, lovely altars, I get another lovely blessing. So let's take Featherfall. 
just so we can just walk off here without taking any damage. So, where or where would a cave be? Would it be up here around this water? Probably, or over here. I'll check by the water and check those hills there. Right now, actually. Do this quest, get over and done with them, and go to Nile and get Water Master, and then, then, oh, we can get Town Portal, then we never have to worry about traveling ever again. That is, unless we can't actually travel there. Then it would be a dire situation. I hope we don't have to get Grandmaster Water to choose where we want to go. Oh god, that'd be awful. Because we're never going to get right Grandmaster Water Magic. Can you even get Grandmaster Water Magic? I don't think you can, no, only Master. Oh, we can't even get Meteor Shower. Ah, oh, that's my favorite ability. What a shame. What a shame indeed. Give me a moment. I've got my foot stuck on a cable. There we go. So, let's carry on going. Hmm. Now, well, where would this cave be? I haven't come across it, have I? I don't think I have. I mean, I don't remember a cave being anywhere, to be exact. Was there a cave here? I don't know. Well, nevertheless, we're gonna look now! Now there's no caves down here. Hmm. Just to make sure I'm not being thick here. Uh, it's in the Tullian Forest, so it's somewhere around here. But the word is somewhere. Long dagger. Another long dagger. So someone two dra daggers probably got dragged by a giant octopus here and had a giant epic battle and he went in there. It didn't buy you trees. Do you trees hold a... Or do you trees hold a cave within you? Please don't say so. I don't want to kill a tree right now. I don't really feel like doing that. And it's the cave plankton's laboratory. Ooh, money. Ah, what a scratch. Certainly is just a scratch. So I'll check these hills just in case one of these hills holds a cave of some kind. You never know these days. Let's just hike. Thank God we've got these nice armored boots with the armored, well, metal spikes within them. Otherwise, good old Saltaris would never get to be able to go up there. Hello, cave? If you're nearby, Echo. Cave? Are you around here, maybe? I'll be your friend. I got shiny objects. You like shiny objects, don't you? Oh, mushrooms. Are you a cave? No, the Oven Warrior's not a cave. Such a shame. I'd love another warrior to be a cave. Ooh, are you a cave? Or are you just a random no, you're just a cliff face? Do I have to look online again? I most likely do. Well now for the cave be. Could be down here. Could be around the coast. But I think I'm just gonna have to look online to see where a cave is. So just a moment. I found the cave! It's the one place we haven't explored, right where my mouse is. I have to go all the way over there and hopefully find it. I don't normally like looking things up while on, well, stream, mainly because it actually requires post-editing, unless I literally just don't edit out in general. But who wants to hear me in the background be like, okay, where is it? Clinkety clank of the keyboard. No one wants to hear that. Unless you do, then you're a very strange individual. When I buy a strange individual, you'd probably, well, just want to listen to my voice. I don't know why, again, that's kind of creepy. Ever so creepy. You may think it appeals to you some way, shape, or form. Maybe. Maybe. But no, we'll uh, go to this hill, so to say. This giant hill right here, with the money on it, the money should be in a dead away. A dead away, a dead giveaway, I mean. Ow. So let's go and get us ever so lovely coins. Look, you can see it in the map. It's right there. God, I'm blind, aren't I? Yes, I am. None of you need to answer that. Don't answer it. Ooh, a cape. What's this? Rubbish. Yeah, it's rubbish, but it's 800 gold, and I'll be nicking it. Yoink. Mine? And what else is this drilling here? We have a... There's not much of a cave, is there? There's just a door. 